So do you remember the first play you're in? Uh, yeah. Oh, I actually do. It was more of a little performance. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Yeah. I've never had a drama class, to be honest. I don't remember it. But do you have a fantasy about what your drama teacher would be like? Mine would be a really cute man, and he would come in class every morning like, Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? And we'll be like, Okay, and what was that accent, honey? These ladies love drama, but do they love the dramatic arts? Hi, you guys, it's Kimara Black, and I'm here with Mariah Balenciaga. It's time to put these queens to the test. Are you ready to learn about the semiotics of various mimetic modes? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Today's lesson is about the dramatic arts. We're going to learn the basic building blocks of what helped us become the drama queens we are today. Drama theater. Thespianism. Are you a thespian? What is that? Someone who loves to roll around on the carpet. I don't think that's me. What? I'm not a carpet person. I feel like you're trying to say something, but I don't really know. <laughs> Do you prefer hardwood floors? I prefer granite. So you like it rock hard? Wait, I think this is a setup. It is. It's oh my god. I like hard. It's time for a pop quiz. Pop quiz. What was the name of Shakespeare's Playhouse? A. The Dominion Theatre. B. The Palace Theatre. C. The Novello Theatre. D. The Globe Theatre. Palace. D. Globe. Palace. Back when he did things. Like the first year there? Oh my god, I went right by it one day, I think. No, you did not. It's not in America. No, it was, isn't it in London? No. No, it's in like the Renaissance land. Okay, I'm I gonna feel say like it's the Dominion. I will say Dominion. Or Palace. But I don't think they said the word Palace back then. So I'm gonna say Dominion. The correct answer is D, the Globe Theater. Oh no, I was right the first time. I hate you. I'm sorry. I don't hate you. <laughs> According to the musical rent, how many minutes are there in a year? 300. 325,600 minutes. What she said. Close. You are off by 200,000. 300. Oh my god! Yeah. Add 200,000. 304,000? Is that even a number? I don't know what it's I said. It's a number, because it's, okay. Is 304,000 a number? Hold on, shoot, you're distracting me, girl. Hold on, it's a... I've never watched Rent, so I don't know. Add 200,000. Oh. 528,000 something. Minutes. 525,600 minutes. Oh, I, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Correct. Whatever. That was a dramatic question. Don't mess with my math. Girl, oh, Miss Thing. Point out which would be considered upstage. Upstage? Behind me. Correct. And downstage. Towards the curtain. And what about stage right? Is my left. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. So if, okay, so if we're in the audience. Uh huh, stage right would be my way. left. Kimura's left is correct. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Baby, look at me, girl. Fine. I have my glasses on. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, darling. You got, okay, ooh, that was a better accent. Was that better? That I'm was getting better. So that much better. better. Which of these shows is the highest grossing musical of all time? A. The Lion King. B. Phantom of the Opera. C. Wicked. D. Les Miserables. Obviously not the last one. Cause that was just, I don't know what that was. But I'm a Kuna Matata kind of High, Highest grossing. I want to say Lion King. I kind of think Phantom of the Opera cause you know it's very like mysterious. It's either Phantom of the Opera or Les Miserables. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say Lion King. I'm gonna say D. Oh, Les Miserables. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna say D, final answer. 
Mm, I'm gonna say the Opera Daddy. Wicked, even though they've done, like, gone international, but it's a little too much US based. Yeah, but the little Maserati, whatever thing it is, never came to the US because I never heard of Miserable. it. Miserable, it is an international play, it's huge. But I've never heard of it, I'm in America. <laughs> the correct answer is Lion King. I win! Oh no! I win, my no, you, you Yes, said I did. Phantom did you Daddy. Not, you said, did you not hear when I said Okuna Matata? But you you said final answer with your phantom daddy and that never shows before up. Before that, I said Okuna yeah, Matata. Yeah, Mr. Big that never shows up. Do you know what Okuna Matata means? It means it's not that serious. It <laughs> <laughs> oh, it means no worries. <laughs> <laughs> they can't air that because you're humming it. Oh. True or false? Mime was originated by the Greeks. Aren't mimes like the blow up stuff? Oh, oh yes, it is by Greece because they're so cute. Like, and everything in Greece is cute. I would um, say yes. They are, they are in Greece. They that, have like the black, they have like the striped shirt, the cute little Greece hat, and they're always in front of like the place where the horses kill people. You, mm -hmm. girl, now you did the hair swing like you just knew. You were describing the French I interpretation the, I, of a I mime. I guarantee I am right. You were describing a, the, a French mime with a striped shirt and a beret. That's what you were describing. Yeah, mime. But the question was, did it originate in Greece? Yeah. Girl, they didn't even have cotton knit then. Why are you Miss, getting mad at me, But you baby? were describing- Why are you getting mad? Co you were like, describing you a mad? black and white cotton knit striped shirt. I say true. It's from Greece. I say false. The correct answer is true. No, get away from me. <laughs> uh, it's, out of, it's out of frame. Sorry, they can't see the cake. Which of these shows was not inspired by true events? A. Chicago. B. Evita. C. The Sound of Music. D. West Side Story. Evita. Because Sound of Music was like they live on the plains and they're singing, right? That's true. And then um, Chicago is very like dapper, and like that's true. And then the last one was West Side Story. That was that's true every day. I do that every day. Chicago. Evita is my final answer. The correct answer is West Side Story. Oh no! But that that story happens every day. Yeah. It's based on Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Yeah, but I'm Juliet. Activity, activity time. time! We're gonna do a little acting exercise. Ooh! I'm down. Kimora performed Juliet's monologue as a stressed out valley girl who maxed out her credit cards and her phone just died. Okay. <laughs> Wait, when do I start? Now. Oh, Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father. <laughs> and refuse thy name. Mm. Or if thou wilt not <laughs> be but sworn by love. Mm. And I'll no longer be a Capulet. You fail. Did I look stressed out? You, well, you stressed me out. <laughs> that was very that was very traumatic for me. Okay. <laughs> so what what is my inspiration? What is my Mariah performed Juliet's monologue as a vivacious bus driver who can't wait to get home and watch a marathon of Dallas. Ooh, oh Romeo, oh Romeo. <laughs> Wherefore art thou Romeo? Ooh! Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Ah! Uh, or it thou wilt not. But Mm. Be sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that <was> so good. <laughs> Not be sworn, my love. <laughs> hey, you guys, y'all can judge for yourselves who won that round. Miss Kamora Black being Valley Girl or me being the sassy bus driver. Mm. Wait, Wait, what? what? Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today?